In this video, we'll see some types of analog multiplier circuits. So far, we have seen how to add and subtract two analog signals. The minus sign just signifies that we get an inverted output. For these two operations, what we were basically doing was using Kirchhoff's laws for getting the sum or difference of two voltages. However, none of the Kirchhoff's laws give us the product of two voltages. So we are going to have to use some other approach. Let's see whether we can achieve our goal, that is getting the product of two signals, by using the circuits we have studied so far. We have the summing amplifier which gives us the sum of two signals, and the difference amplifier which gives us their difference. Can we somehow use these to get the product? This looks just like a familiar problem from basic algebra. We have x plus y and x minus y and we want x y. Hey! We know how to do this. We just square these two and take the difference. What we get is 4xy and dividing this by 4 gives us xy. Well this is some real solid progress. We just have to square the outputs of the summing and difference amplifier, take the difference and scale down the result by 4. Circuits which square a signal can be built using MOSFETs. So for our purpose, we will just assume that we have a squaring circuit. So let's build the circuit. We first take the summing and the difference amplifiers. We then square the outputs of these circuits. Taking the difference and scaling down by 4 can be together done by another difference amplifier with suitable resistors. And we are done. We have successfully built an analog multiplier. This circuit is known as the quarter square multiplier. Another approach for multiplying two signals would be by using the log and anti-log amplifiers which we saw in the previous video. The algebra of logarithms is as shown. So, if we take the log of the two signals, add them up and then take the antilog of the result, then we would get the product of the two signals. So let's build the circuit. We'll first pass the two signals through log amplifiers. Then we add these up by using a summing amplifier. In the end, we pass this result through an antilog amplifier to get the product. And that's it. We have built our second analog multiplier. Note that the log and the antilog amplifiers are the same ones as those we saw in the last video. They have been shown as blocks, so as to help you understand the multiplier circuit. This circuit is known as the log antilog multiplier because that's exactly what we are doing. A multiplier is denoted by the following symbol. Vx and Vy are the input signals. The constant of proportionality k is called the multiplier scale factor. As we saw earlier, this multiplier scale factor can be easily controlled by changing suitable resistors in the multiplier circuit. From now on, we will be denoting a multiplier by this symbol, so as to keep our circuits compact and increase our understanding. That's all for this video. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.